In today's video, I'm going to show you this chat GPT trick that writes better than you. And no offense. This is going to be one of the most fun and powerful videos we've done in a long time because this tool literally took everything I said and made it better. It added way more detail. It fixed my grammar mistakes and it even wrote an entire story with characters, plots and everything. So what is this tool? How do we use it? And how can it make us sound smarter when writing emails, scripts and anything else? Well, let me show you. Now, just like every other AI tools, there are some basics with chat that you need to know before diving deep. So let's start by asking the basics. What is your name? As you can see, it gives us a name, and if you ask it to describe itself, it will tell us that it is a large language model trained by Google DeepMind. However, now we know that it is basically a robot, and robots do not have emotions or feelings, so you should never ask it for any of those things. Instead, you can ask it for logical and factual information, or even complex calculations, and it will always give you the right answer. For example, we can ask it to calculate sales tax on $1,230 for dollars at 6% and boom, it will calculate it right away and show us the results. We can even ask it to calculate something way more complicated and again, it will still get the right answer. Another thing you shouldn't do is ask it to write code for you. Now, with the new update they did release recently, it's pretty amazing, but we will talk about that later. For now, we should stick with asking it simpler questions. Now, the key to getting the best answers from ChatGPT is to always be very clear with your questions. That means, if you want a specific type of answer, you need to put keywords in your question that guide it towards that answer. For example, if you want it to write a poem about a cat, you need to say write a poem. If you simply say what's a cat, well, it won't exactly write a poem. One of the most exciting things about ChatGPT is the ability to generate text automatically. You can give it a few keywords and then it will automatically write out a full paragraph or even multiple paragraphs of text. And the quality of that text is surprisingly good. For example, let's ask it to write five sentences about cats. And as you can see, it didn't just stop at five sentences. It actually wrote us a whole paragraph. And if we ask it to write a summary about cats, we will get a great summary. But there is a problem here. And I'll explain why this might be a problem in just a second. So what you are seeing right here is a very big issue with chat and large language models in general. And this is a hallucination. Basically, it looks like it has found five different articles about cats and then generated a summary for them. But if you go ahead and click on these links, you will find out that three of them don't exist. They're not real websites. So essentially what happened is it created three fake URLs, three fake websites, and then summarized those fake articles and gave them to us as if they were real. This is a huge issue with all of these tools. And I hope they fix it soon. But for now, we should take everything it says with a grain of salt and always double check our facts. All right, so now that we understand the basics, let me show you this cool trick. So when you're writing emails, sometimes you just want to express yourself better. And this is where this trick comes in. All you have to do is copy the text that you want to improve, paste it into chat, and then ask it to make it more polite, professional, casual, or whatever else. Let me show you an example. So I'm going to copy this message right here. Then inside chat, I am going to paste it and then ask it to rewrite this message in a more professional tone. All right, now let's see what it does. As you can see, it improved the grammar slightly and also changed a few words to make it sound more professional. The original sentence was I tried calling you yesterday, but I couldn't reach you. 
And now it says, I attempted to contact you via phone yesterday, but unfortunately I was unable to reach you. So the main difference is the word contacted instead of called and reached instead of reach. It may seem like a small change, but trust me, it makes a big difference in sounding professional. Let's try another example. So I'm going to copy this message, paste it here and ask it to rewrite this message in a more casual tone. OK, so it rewrote it and made it more casual. For example, it replaced I'd like to with I want to. Now remember, always take what it writes with a grain of salt because it did make some mistakes. For example, here it says I'd like to and then it replaces it with I would like to. So it's not exactly casual. However, overall it did make it sound more casual. So we can take its suggestions and edit them ourselves to fit our needs. Here's another example. So I'm going to copy this message, paste it here and then ask it to rewrite this message in a more formal tone. As you can see, it did make it more formal. For example, it turned I'm interested into I am interested. So again, small changes but they add up and they make a big difference. Now here's where it gets really interesting. So let's go back to the first example that we had with the professional email. I'm going to copy this, paste it here and then ask it to rewrite this message in a more professional tone while adding more details. As you can see, it didn't just rewrite the message, it actually added more detail. So it now says, Dear Mr. Smith, and then it explains why the author was unable to reach the recipient. In addition, it added, I look forward to speaking with you soon. So as you can see, it added a lot more detail and made it sound much more professional. And here's the secret. Instead of giving it simple instructions, you can give it very detailed instructions. And the more detail you give it, the better the results will be. Here's another example. So let's say we have this message right here. I'm going to copy it and then paste it here. And then let's say we want to turn this into a tweet. So I'm going to ask it, turn this into a tweet of 280 characters and make it sound interesting. Let's see what it does. Alright, so as you can see, it wrote us a tweet. But let's be honest, it doesn't really sound that interesting. So now let's try to make it more specific. So instead of saying make it sound interesting, I'm going to say use emojis, use hashtags and make it sound interesting. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, so as you can see, it added emojis and hashtags and it did make it more interesting. But we can still do better. So instead of just saying make it sound interesting, we can give it some examples. So I'm going to say, make it sound interesting and include these hashtags, hashtag cats, hashtag writing and hashtag chat GPT. Let's see what happens. OK, so now it included the hashtags and it also said, stay tuned for more tips. So overall, it did make it more interesting. And this is the power of chat. By giving it very detailed instructions, you can get much better results. And the same goes for stories. For example, let's say we want to write a story about a cat who goes on an adventure. So I'm going to say, write a story about a cat who goes on an adventure. Let's see what it does. OK, so it started writing a story about a cat, but it's not really that interesting. So let's give it some more detail. So I'm going to say, write a story about a cat who goes on an adventure to find his owner after he has lost. Let's see what it does. OK, so it did make it more interesting. So now it's actually a story about a cat who's trying to find his owner. But we can still make it better. So let's give it some more detail. So I'm going to say, write a funny story about a cat who goes on an adventure to find his owner after he has lost. 
Make sure to include lots of action and dialogue. Let's see what it does. All right, so now it is actually a story about a cat who goes on an adventure to find his owner after he has lost. He talks to other animals along the way and eventually finds his way home. And it's actually quite funny. So you can see by giving it more detail, you can get a much better result. Now if you want to learn how to use chat to create high quality content that ranks on top of Google, you should watch this video next. See you there.